Hello, I'm Jeff Hutchins. I work at Renovus. I am in the CTO's office, and I'm also the uh, OIF's co-packaging working group chair. The OIF at the recent uh, meeting launched its new project for the 3.2T optical engine project. This is for data center applications for ethernet switching. And uh, it covers the optical interfaces such as 400 GFR4 and DR4, as well as backwards compa compatibility for 200G. It also defines the mechanical, electrical um, interfaces for the, uh, for the chip, including the management interface. What, what I think is really significant is the OIF started this effort on the co-package framework project last year. And we made pretty rapid progress with, um, with uh, workshops and, uh, and starting this new framework project. And now nine months later, we've got our first project addressing the 3.2T optical engine project. As we move forward to new generations of the uh, of switch chips, it's getting more and more difficult to be within the energy envelope, the power envelope for, for these uh, switching systems. And by switching the co-package optics, we can get the optical engine much, much closer to the ASIC. And that allows to lower power interfaces and keep the overall power consumption lower. Um, to do that, you need very, very dense optical engines. And the co-package project uh, basically specifying the mechanical dimension of something that's quite small and allows us to get, uh, in this particular case, 51.2T of bandwidth around um, a co-packaged uh, ASIC. The industry has started out with, uh, there's a JDF between Microsoft and Facebook where they were uh, working on uh, co-packaging, uh, putting together a document. And also uh, various forums, you know, the Kobo started with this effort to do power reduction with their onboard object project that they've started. So this is really the next generation and it leverages work that a number of people have done to in the industry to try to get to this uh, co-package. It's very, very challenging because it involves a lot of new technologies, you know, to, to use dense optical engines with silicon photonics, a uh, high level of uh, fiber attached, the thermal management is very complicated. Um, you know, there's potentially remote laser sources. The laser sources aren't going to be inside the transceiver module. So it, there's a lot of new things here. So it's a very, very complicated thing touching many different technology areas. The interest in this project is really, in, well, in the whole effort has really been stunning. I mean, we have, on the conference calls, we have um, very large attendance. Uh, and I think that's partly because of the in, in, uh, interest in the industry, plus the fact that it involves not uh, involves all parts of the ecosystem. So there's you know people from optical connectivity point of view, electrical, you know, uh, thermal, all different parts of the industry are involved in this thing. So it has quite a lot of attendance. Um, and likewise, uh, you know, um, Kobo has been working on it, this as well, and they've been approaching various parts of the problem. And together, we think that the forums will be able to um, uh, to advance the standards in this area. Thank you.